making cold processed soap from scratch. Mommy. If you don't have the Mommy. original book, the first one that came out, Mommy. I'll show you that one too. Yes, child. What kind of book is this? This is a book on making soap that's fantastic. You know the soap that we make here? I have to tell her. Thank you for sharing, Taki. The soap that we make here, we also are teaching people how to do it in here. What is cold process? Very good question. I do answer that in the book. That is the traditional method of making soap. And as you can see, Paige is very interested in it. That's when you don't use any external heat. You're just using the heat from the oils and the lye solution to force that saponification process. We tell you all that and so much more, including the supplies you need, the ingredients you need, the recipes that will help you be very successful when you're starting out. We also teach you how to make your own recipes so you're not beholden to other people's recipes. Alexa, who's going to win the Super Bowl? I'm flying with the Eagles on this one because of their relentless defense and the momentum they've been riding off their underdog status. E A G L E S Eagles! Let's go, Soap Lady Z. <laughs> Hey guys, it is the Kia built-in microphone unmute. Okay, so I got a whole lot going on on this broadcast today. Um, number one, if you have never, ever, ever been here with me before live, welcome. I am testing all kinds of stuff. I have the call-in option available where if you would like to call me live, you can do that with the number right down there in the bottom of the screen. Hey, hey, West Hill, how are you? And um, so what I have to do is I'm actually looking at three platforms. I think my first time able to interact, love, wow. pastry queen, welcome to the broadcast. Um, so um, I am actually testing multi-streaming on three platforms at the same time and attempting to make sure that I'm actually able to see the things that I need to see and also have you all be able to interact with me in a little bit of a different way. Because we are on so many different platforms at one time, I have all of your comments coming up on a box on the side of my screen. I have my little fancy production studio right here in my hand. It allows me to like quick, um, what's the date today? I have no idea. It's Sunday. That's all I know. <laughs> it's Sunday. That's as far as I go with the date. Um, and so... I have that so that I am able to change the scenes and do all that other stuff and also try and capture content at the same time. What this does is it allows me to say, okay, guys, you can now see directly over my head. And that should switch you to a different camera. Doesn't look like it's doing it. Look at that. Don't you love technology? Holds on. Is that it? That's not what we want. Did I unplug it? I don't know what I did. Today is not January the 6th already, is it? Is it your birthday? 
Okay, now I know you're live, live. Like, are you live, live, or are you just playing? You were confused. Why? What did I do? That's the camera. And if somebody does call in, love your progression. Let me tell you, I'm kind of excited about it, but then sometimes it's overwhelming. If somebody wants to call me on Skype, I can actually bring you on to the broadcast. You see that Skype number down there? You can call me on Skype and I'll be like, hey, who's this? Who's this on the line? And then I'll bring you up live and you'll actually, but if you don't want to like be visible, because a lot of you don't like to be on video, that's fine too. You can call that number and that way we'll be actually able to hear you and not necessarily see you. So I will open up for Q&A at some point. Um, I almost thought it was pre-recorded. Well, the beginning of the broadcast are always pre-recorded. That's kind of like a reel. It's like a commercial reel for people who are brand new and also for the people that have been here before to let you know once that video stops playing, I'm probably going to go live at that point. But it gives me a time to do all the pre-promotion. Like right now, I'm going to tweet out that we are live so people can come on and actually see it. So there's a couple of reasons why that initial video plays the way that it does that gives me a chance to actually set up because there's a lot that I have going on on the table now if I switch you now we also have the option to quickly switch you all over for actually seeing directly over my head so when I'm in this mode I will typically be cutting some soap or making some soap this is the orientation to what it is that we're doing um, and then if you want to see us both at the same time, I can bring myself back on camera and just switch it over just like that. And then if I want to share something on my desktop, for instance, like if I'm showing you my websites, which I think I will do, and I will show you all actually how I am seeing your comments on the screen. So if I switch you guys to desktop view, you should be able to now see all of your comments as they are coming up from both the Periscope side as well as the YouTube side. Let me see. Desktop is what I want. Go to my desktop. Why won't you do it? Boom. There we go. So when it switches here, this is how I am actually able to see who is participating in the broadcast. So West Hill saying, ba da ba 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 I'm loving it. Can I go picture in picture? I'm not sure. I don't think I set that button up. But there's a couple of things. What's the system called, please? It's cool. It's called Zakia system. It's the Zakia system. Hey, Gemini. Thank you for um, putting a comment in. So let me come back to the main camera. And again, invite you to call in live. Did it, did it switch over? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, here, you're here for the comments and you got your Michael Jackson popcorn situation going on. So the first thing that we're going to, why are y'all yelling? Get out of my room. She's never going to get out your room. It's patented. Somebody come get these children's. Somebody come get these children's. All right. So what we're going to do is go ahead and what we're doing on this broadcast for some of you, and this is going out on three platforms. I know I have said that. So if some of you have never seen me live before, um, I typically make my own handcrafted natural soap. I am the owner and operator of natural soap by Zakia.com. I am also the creator extraordinaire of live soap school.com. I like to consider myself a techie social soaper. If that makes any sense. The joys of motherhood. Correct, Gemini. Correct. I don't know if I would call them joys, but that's, that's what we got going on right now. And so I've made some lavender tranquility soap, which is what you are seeing when I go here to the overhead view right there. And I also have my phone here down here. So I'm kind of monitoring to make sure that I'm, when I'm saying, Hey guys, this is what we got going on. That that's actually what is happening. So now what I'm going to do is cut this up. And now Josh is yelling. That's the joys of fatherhood. Because everybody pretends that I'm not live streaming. So I do apologize for that, guys. All right. So we now have the two loaves of soap that are right here. And this one is, both of these are made with lavender essential oil. 
And as you can see, right here, when I lift this up, just like that, you can see where we swirled the top. And there's also some swirling on the side of the, bo um, the loaf as well. So I'm going to go ahead and move this up a little bit out of the way so that we can actually slice it down. And then, guys, what we are going to be doing is actually making a Art Deco soap where we're going to be using nothing other than a sink strainer to actually do our pour. Let me see if I can mute my microphone so I can yell at everybody in my house real fast. Hold on. It's going to take two seconds. It's going to take two seconds. Hold on. One. One. Let me see. I'll put microphone. I forgot to program that button. That's the button that I'm definitely going to need to add on here for sure. Source. A window. Sound levels. There we go. Pull that up. Let me mute this microphone. Give me one second. Okay, guys, and we're back. All right, so let me go ahead and pull this up. Oh, darn, it switched. Oh, you couldn't hear nothing, West Hill, because I had to mute you all. I had to mute you all for a few seconds to get my house to understand that we were live streaming. And we all needed to participate so that people could actually hear the broadcast. So that was done. You're good. All right. So... Let me slide that to the left. And this is what we typically use when we are slicing the soap down. As you can see, hey DJ, how are you? As you can see, when I pull this up, what ends up happening is this is going to give me a lot of, if you guys don't be quiet, I'm doing a lot. <laughs> I just saw your comment, Gemini, but so serious. Like I'm live streaming. Why would you choose now? And my house has been silent when I tell you, Paige was outside playing, um, all of that. Mm. All of them were outside playing, not doing anything. When I went live, that's when she decided to go upstairs and uh, annoy her sister. So here is what we do. And we put the loaf of soap right down here in here so that each bar is pretty much even or the same size. And then what I do is I pull it down just like this. And then it kind of sounds like guitar strings when I do that. Hold on, let me grab a little bit of parchment paper here because we need something to put the soap on once we cut it. And then what we do is we just take it out. Look, did you guys see how my house starts jumping as soon as I start doing something? Yeah, we're like, what is that about? The moment, is, as long as I'm sitting sedentary, ain't nobody doing nothing in my house. The moment I move, everybody wants to move. I don't get it. All right. And then here is what the inside of it looks like. So it just has those two little swirls going on right there in the soap. I'm going to put these down face down this way so you guys can see them. And then here is the inside of this one. So both sides, they kind of looks like little birds. Did you custom make the cutter? No, West Hill. I ordered this um, online. Some, so one of the suppliers that I use, I got it from him. And I have um, affiliate links on my website. So people, if they're interested in getting it, um, I do have on LiveSoapSchool.com, guys. If you make handmade soap and you are looking for something um, to cut your soap with or supplies, every single thing that I, here's my sock cop hands. Let me switch you over. Oh no, wrong camera. 
So everything that I actually use on my broadcast, when I move, you move. Just like that. When I move, you move. Just like that. Forever Black Love, welcome to the broadcast. So, um, this cutter that I'm using is actually one that I got from there. So anytime you order from my, hey Zealy, anytime that you order from my website, that actually gets credited back to me. It did not switch over. Why haven't we switched? Hmm. I don't like that. It doesn't want to switch. <gasps> I know I've been messing it up. Hold on, guys. This is our first time doing it this way. And that's what I want. There we go. Okay. Something's up with my Happy New Year to you. Happy, Happy New Year to everyone. Happy New Year to So, um, well, what I could do is actually do me and the soap so I can actually break these up. So what we're doing is cutting these. So every single time that anybody orders from that site, it's an affiliate link. So then I turn around and they'll give me a percentage of it. So I finally came up there. But let's finish pulling these out. We're going to run out of space. And then that way you can kind of see them all. Voila! LOL. Cute. And so here is the inside of these here. I think they came out really nice. I'm loving just the simplicity of that lavender. Because remember, the name of this is Lavender Tranquility. So the idea is it's a very soothing and calming bar of soap that also cleans at the same time and so here is the last piece that's the end piece right there and then I just put that right up here and then we still have one more loaf to cut which is this one right here now one thing guys if you ever are in a broadcast and you see how right now because I'm holding my phone this way I'm missing a lot of the screen real estate. You can go in what's known as theater mode by turning your phone this way, and then it takes up much more screen real estate. The problem with theater mode initially is that, and this is just from a Periscope peeps, all of you on the other platforms, you can ignore this part of the tutorial. When you're in theater mode, you have to actually tap the screen for the comments to continue to come up. Otherwise, it thinks that you don't want to actually um, see the comments. You are going in theater mode because you know how sometimes you're watching a movie, not necessarily on live stream, and sometimes people will be putting a movie up, and then there's a whole bunch of comments going, so you miss what's happening on the screen. Well, theater mode was Periscope's way of saying, oh, by the way, no point in fighting it, Paige is a star. You are correct. That's how you're watching. Thanks, Pastry Queen. But I know some people, they stay like this and they're like, what's happening? Why don't I see everything? Or it's a much smaller screen. When you turn your phone landscape mode, instead of portrait, you actually get a full screen. So it's kind of like you're watching something. Um, they also do this. I do have a lot of people, like we have 19 people in here live right now. Maybe about five of you are commenting or six. That also means that some people are lurking but some people are actually watching on apple tv um and when you're watching on apple tv you can't actually comment but that's what makes those numbers drive up so by the way if you're watching on apple tv you're cool thank you for checking in and so that's my little bit of periscope tutorial for the afternoon um we are doing our super soap Sunday broadcast. Let me check and make sure I haven't missed any of the comments on YouTube. Cool. Better shot. That's how I'm watching. Yes, she is. This is a great setup. That soap sells out fast. It does, Joel. Um, but when I do my um, essential oil soaps, I can't do those in my larger loaves because my larger loaves give me a bar that's this size. There you go. Whereas my essential oil soap is typically that size. So essential oil soaps come in a larger bar of soap. Um, and I only have four molds for that. I don't have the 30 pounder that will cut them the right way. So it takes me a little while longer, but I feel like um, 
Typically, because my essential oil soap is more expensive than the fragrance oil soap, I feel like you should get a little bit more in the product. Paige is about to feed her baby alive. He doesn't have any pampers. I don't think that's a good idea. Diego Papolizio. Hey, Welcome to the broadcast. Your pampers were somewhere in there. They're on top. I got to do something, guys. I'm going to let you love this amazing soap for a moment. Mommy, I can see Go the over pampers. here. Uh oh, they're right here, please. Can you get me a beverage out of the refrigerator? You know what I want. You know what I want. Here I go. You like a You know it. But they didn't pay us for any kind of um, promotion, so we don't say their name on the broadcast. All right. So let's go. I know what you're about. You got it, girl. Let me wipe these blades down, guys. Can. Yes, say soda can. We don't have to mention their name because they ain't. They're not loyal. They're not loyal. Mommy hey, duties what? never and forever. Hey. You are never lying. Brown water, yes, special. She's got to play grandma for a minute. <laughs> grandma, mom, all the above. Now let's see. There's main cam. Oh, come on, kid. Don't knock my stuff over. Sorry, guys. At some point, Paige is going to show you all her dance. It's really cool. It's a new version of the skirt. Skirt. Let me move this sound. It's like. Where are you? Okay. Who are you going to fall? I'm going to pull you up a little bit. Hi, everyone. Say hey, everyone. All right, show them your dance. I'm going to make sure you don't fall. Skirt. 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 There it is. Oh, there it is. All right, you gotta get down. Yeah. Um, baking is really my thing, but watching you is pastry queen. Bakers are actually most of the inspiration that I do for my broadcast. Is piquing my curiosity. Here is the thing about me: I make soap because I am not a great cook, and because I'm not a great cook, they said, "Hey, Paige, because I am not a great cook, I make soap." <laughs> Yes, you are. I make soap that actually looks, in my mind, like food. And I never have to be embarrassed by it because nobody will ever taste it. Hey, Miss Francis, how are you? So make soap that looks like food. I make it that looks like food, but you don't what? Eat it! You do not eat the soap ever, 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 never, never. All right, so... Yeah, and we don't want people getting sick. That's not a good idea, guys. We yeah, don't want so you to get sick. So when, so when the kids try to eat the soap, what you, what you buy from us, tell them not, tell them, tell them guys to not at, to not do that. I will definitely make sure they know. Okay, guys, I'm going to put you over here one more time. Yeah, that doesn't, it doesn't do it. I got to make sure I'm doing something wrong. Oh, so. Oh gosh. Alright guys, let me grab this parchment one more time. On my couch, get her off. I hear Paige, our little rock star, hungry watching your scope. That explains it. See, I be catfishing all over the place. I catfish all over the place with this soap. People come in there like, what's cooking good looking? And I'm like, oh, that's soap. But stick around a little while longer. Yes, that's what's cooking. So, so what I'm doing is I'm just lifting these up so I have space to put the other ones once we cut them. And then we're going to do our Art Deco soap. Now, let's slice this one down. Any of you that are just now coming in, I'm Zakia of NaturalSoapbySakia.com. Thank you all for coming in, tapping the screen, sharing the broadcast, any of those things that you have done. It is appreciated. And what we're doing is we are cutting, oh, you can't see. We are cutting our Lavender Tranquility Soap. And that's what we're doing right here. Make sure it's visible for you. Boom. And you should see. It's not necessarily invisible. 
And then these are the little end pieces, like the little curly cues that come off on the end. Right there. Miss Francis, thank you for inviting, retweeting, and all of that. Super heart from Jewel. You are cool. Thank you. All right. Dana over there on the YouTube side. Welcome to the broadcast. Welcome to the broadcast. I said welcome to the broadcast. So what we do, I always go from the middle because that's probably where most of the color ended up while I was pouring. And then here is the inside of this one. It's right there at the top. So I'm going to put this off to the side. And then, well, I'm going to put them all down so you're able to see them. Let's pull our paper back out. Yes. They look like cheese slices or like a cheesecake or something. That actually looks like two birds. Oh, you guys can't see it from there. And they all... Now, this is the first time in a long time that I have actually had bars that look almost identical to each other. Hey, Catchy, these are the, this is the first time in a very long time that my bars have looked so similar to one another. Um, but oh no, spoke too soon. Here they go. Now they're stuck. Paige, are you going to drop anything else while you're at it? That looked like a lady's hat. Which one? This one here. Thank you for the retweet, Catchy. Does this one look like a lady's hat? Yes, that looks like a little lady right there. There's her hat. Let me bring it up. Let me get it in the right perspective. There's her little face. There's her hat. She may be wearing a scarf. Just depends. Or a bell. Yes, absolutely. Any of those things could be what it is that we are looking at. Don't fall. All right. So what I was saying is what we are going to do is we're going to make Mommy, they still look similar to me. Yeah, they most of these are very similar. Well, and as soon as I say that, then I pick up one that's different. But they're either more of a deeper swirl on the inside and then these two here are very similar. But they're similar in that they have the same exact fantastic ingredients and they also have the lavender essential oil on the inside. So we have these last two. And now I'm going to tell you guys over 315 current web viewers. Look at that. That's because all of you are sharing and tapping your screen. All of that is greatly appreciated. Let me come back on. Let me make sure you guys all see what it is that we've done can we do me and the soap there we go okay so you should be seeing me and the soap if you are looking at your screen this way and i am now in this kind of a position what i was sharing a little bit earlier is it's much easier if you are looking at your phone in landscape mode because if you're in portrait mode you're like you're looking at a bunch of black down there the only thing is, when you are in landscape mode, make sure you tap your screen because that way you'll still be able to see the comments and interact on the broadcast. So, what we did just now, let's get to the main cam. We do have a call-in number available. If any of you would like to join me live, you can call in and I can bring you up on the screen. Or, not necessarily you. If you call, you won't be on the screen. However... I have this caller line. If you have Skype, connect with me on Computer Lady Z. And if you are just wanting to call and talk to me about anything that we just did, or you have questions about my setup here, give me a call and I can answer your questions. Once we get to making soap, I am not going to be able to answer your questions. So I figured this would be a time in the broadcast where I would be able to say, what questions do you have? And I can bring some of you. You for sight. Welcome to the broadcast. I could bring some of you. Big Duke from Baltimore. How are you? How's it going in Baltimore, my friend? How is it going? Let me grab my soda. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of Jeopardy music. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Paige is going to give you guys a little bit of Jeopardy music. If you want to call in, you can, if you have Skype, 
You can connect with me at Computer Lady Z. Much love, much respect right back to you. If you don't want to be on the screen over there, I'm pointing the wrong way. If you don't want to be on the screen, call me on the telephone. Call me on the telephone and I can talk to you there. T minus what and what. So today is January the 6th, somebody said. The store is open on March the 1st. Honestly, I have no idea what the countdown is. I know we're less than 60 days away from my grand Oh, well, it's not going to be my grand opening on March the 1st. We will be opening on March the 1st. The grand opening is going to come a little bit later. Um, uh-oh, phone is about to die. Charger, where are you? Look at me. Back, oh, wait, I was about to say I'm loving it. No, not my... See what I'm saying, guys? Paige doesn't miss a beat. I said, where is my charger? She said, it's right there because I was reading somebody's comment. She was like, it's right there, Mom. No worries. I put my, um, I have not worn this since the last time I went to a soap show. Physical store? Yes, I will be opening my actual store on March the 1st in Philadelphia. Um, so a lot of you, well, they can do Skype voice call instead of video call. Yes, you can either Skype me with video by going to Computer Lady Z or from your phone, any phone. You can dial that number, 484 482 8042 and I can bring you right on to the broadcast in a telephone call. Kind of like a radio station. Hey caller, state your name and location. Um did I miss any other comments? I don't think so. Scroll. Yes. So if you're like camera shy, like some people don't like to be on camera, that's wonderful. Yes. So my physical store will be opening March the 1st, which I'm excited about and nervous about at the same time. I think it's very, um, it's a logical next step. Paige? Bam. You got it. But I, I forgot. I was going to say something else. I have not worn this since the last time I did a vending event. And I am still doing podcasts as well. I do it all. I do it all. Um, I opened, I went in my little pocket satchel here. This was some change that a lady had gave me right before I was leaving. She said, I, I really don't need anything else, but I just want you to have this. And I've had this in my um, apron pocket since that last show. So when I went to go live today, I was like, man, I got to go and get some stuff from the store. And when I put my hands in here, can't wait till you open one in Toronto. I am coming West Hill. I promise. All right. So it looks like nobody has called in. Don't worry. You'll get one more shot at the end of the broadcast. In the meantime and in between time, I'm going to run this really quick commercial break. Don't leave. Even though it's saying thank you for joining the broadcast. I feel like some of you need to know who I am and what's available and how you can get what it is that I got. So here it is right here. One second. Thank you so much for joining today's live broadcast and we're going to go ahead and roll that beautiful bean footage also known as the credits. Do you absolutely positively love products by Soap Lady Z? That could be our soap, that could be our books, that could be our classes, that could just be our gratitude and our show. Make sure you sign up for our ambassador program today and you earn money for your referrals to Soap Nation. How cool is that? Now, you may also be wondering, how can you easily support Soap Lady Z? Like the videos. Were you watching? Did you tap the screen? Did you send an emoji? Did you put a thumbs up? That is supporting the broadcast. You can share it with your friends on social media. Make sure you're following my channel on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, anywhere in the social media land that you are actually hearing the sound of my voice. Make sure you have clicked that follow button and make sure you also subscribe to my email list so that you can stay connected. And most importantly, thumbs do matter. Rate and review wherever you are. If there's an option to put a comment, put a comment in there. Now, did you see something that you've just got to have it? Did I make something live that you're like, oh, yes, I'm getting it. I need it for my skin. I need to learn. Any of those things, naturalsoapbyzakia.com is where you can go to get all of my handmade products. These make excellent gifts for friends, family, and co-workers. 
some of my absolute best selling products are the triple butter blend, the activated charcoal and kale and clay, as well as the peppermint soup. If you are looking for a gift that actually keeps on giving, subscribe to my Soap of the Month Club and you actually get that treat delivered to your door each and every month. Head over to naturalsoapbyzakia.com to place your order today. Check out the new Soap Makers Cookbook series available both in paperback and ebook format exclusively on Amazon.com. Oh yeah. Head to bit.ly forward slash soap books and you can see my author page as well as all of the books and the reviews and order your copy today. But if you're like a lot of people, you actually want to sit and take a class because you want to learn know that you know that you know that you know you can actually take a soap making class with soap lady z live or online visit livesoapschool.com forward slash classes for more information what's available as well as the schedule head over there today if you would like to learn how to make your own soap from scratch Thanks again for tuning in live or even on the replay. You guys are awesome too. Bubbles and hugs. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Okay, guys. All right. So we're going to have an echo because I was watching it to make sure that we were actually ending the video at the right time. So I was, I all, here is a tip. If you are a live streamer, this is something that I have learned. Always go back and watch your replays. And because I have been watching those replays, I notice that I say the same things over and over and over. I'm back. Yes, I am live. I saw you say that, John. Um, yes, I'm still here, but I needed to do a transition. Um, and that transition, look at this, guys. It's like magic. It's a whole different world now. It's so cool. It's so cool. All right. So the reason why I did that whole video montage together was because People ask the same questions over and over and over again. And for my YouTube folks, while we were live, what I was doing was I was pushing that same information, active links to my YouTube channel. So if anybody that was watching on YouTube, they saw that at the same time as I was saying, you can go here, click here, you can go here, click there. And um, it's also interesting to see all of the breadth of things that I have been able to accomplish live streaming for three years. So proud of you. You're such an inspiration. Bravo to you. I'm loving this. Great job. I wish I could bring you guys onto the broadcast, but I, the way I have you, the way my comments are set up right now, I can't slide you guys in there, but it means a lot. Thank you for saying that, Pastry Queen, as well as West Hill. So um, the purpose of that is it, it'll give me a chance to breathe. What is your Facebook page and do you ever go live? I go live everywhere. Um, um, I, I, I primarily live stream. Right. Um, I normally live stream on my Natural Soap by Zakia um, page and then I repurpose content on my live soap school page. So both of my businesses have Facebook business pages, but you'll typically see me live at Natural Soap by Zakia. She's right there making a mess in front of the team. You got to get that off of there. Put them on the floor or something. Can I show them your baby alive? Let me show you guys what I'm looking at right now, right in on the TV stand. Bring them here. He, he's going to be wet. 
He's already wet. Give it here. It looks like he got diarrhea of the face. Look at baby alive. He's had, he stood, I'm not even putting it over the computer. Here, I'll put it over here. This is baby alive. This is, that's what I was telling you, mom. You shouldn't bring it over there. Yeah, it's bad. It's pretty bad. Here. I told you, but you shouldn't bring it over. Is he dressed? None of her dolls stay dressed for very long. None of them stay dressed for very, what very long. What can they say? I like to change them in their closet. Yeah. What can she say? She likes to change them in their closet. Um, and so, Happy New Year, Tommy! Um, yeah, there she is. She's never very, very far. He's very well fed. Um, and so putting that video together, it gave me a chance to actually break in the middle of a broadcast, but also for people that are new or people who may be wondering those things in the middle of a broadcast, it gives me a chance to kind of breathe. What in the world? They give you like food for them. They give you food for them. So what we're about to do now is actually make, um, a sink strainer pour soap and I have seen this and you probably have seen it on Facebook and YouTube it's a new method that people are using for art deco and if you most of the, like pastry queen said she likes watching because she's a, uh, a pastry baker well I watch bakers and I also watched mixed media to try and find other ways to do what it is that I do Oh, nah. Hi there. Happy New Year. I thought that said New Year Eve. Hey, EJ Evangeline. Oh, that's Miss Evangeline. Oh, they're the devil. As soon as these pampers are done, baby alive's going to go missing. And she's changing them again. She's changing. Um, and so um, I should have queued this video up. But on YouTube, what I will do is I will put a link to... Um, two of the videos that I have watched to see how to do this particular technique. Make sure I haven't missed anything. Um, me too. Yeah. And so um, what we're going to do is I'm going to switch you all so that we are looking directly overhead bad granny. I'm just, I'm being 100% honest when I tell you. It will not hurt my feelings at all. We got a million LOL surprise dolls laying around the house. And if you step on one in the middle of the night, if you've ever stepped on a Lego, it's the same exact feeling. Got to tell her diapers call. Lego is very hard. And so is an LOL down. They all hurt. If you step on them unknowingly in the and middle of the night and it's dark. Step on their finger or their hand or their knee or their tippy toe, it's going to hurt. Oh, somebody's calling us on Skype. Let's see who it is. I got to switch you guys over. Hey, Zakia. Who's this? Oh, I got to put Francis. you on. Let's see. Are you on the broadcast? Can you guys hear her on the broadcast? <clears throat> I am on the broadcast, but I don't know if you can hear me. It's delayed. Hmm. Let's see if I switch you over. Shoot. Let's see. We got a caller. I figured why not do a test? Well, thank you because nobody else was calling, so it helps. Oh, they can hear you. Okay. Or she will have to go old school and use special Andrea and Tommy and West Hill and Zeely and Jaja. Okay. So who's this on the line? It's Frances. Shirley. Hey, Drea. Hey there, Miss Frances. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Well, as you can see, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to run all of these at the same time. Let me pull the microphone over. Microphone check one, two, one, two. I'm trying to see how I'm going to run all of these at the same time without losing my mind. In the meantime, hey, Melvin. Testing one, two, three. <laughs> so what's what's going on? How are you today? Any exciting projects for you? I know there is an awesome announcement that you have, but I won't be the one to share it unless you want me to. <clears throat> you can share it. That's fine. Okay, so here here is the backdrop of it. All of you know that Miss Francis is like one of my number one super fans. 
And not only is she one of my number one super fans, but she also just created Shirley's Creations, which is her own handmade soap and more shop. She was, your mic sounds nice. Check. I'm sorry. You know how whenever somebody says something, but she has created her very own online store selling her handmade soap as well as all of the things that she makes. She's an incredible sewer. She's been sewing for more than 30 years. Um, she is an alumni of Live Soap School, which makes me really, really excited. Um, and so that is the really huge news. And she's just branching out into so many areas, which is just beautiful to see. So that is the amazing news from Miss Frances, but she can probably tell you better than I can. Well, and I owe it all to you for the soap because I'm having so much fun. Awesome. And you guys make me um, and Go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, you know, I also paint, but that takes so long to do. But when I get down or, or I just want something to do, I started the soap. And it was all because of you. And now I've got my grandkids wanting to do it. So, you know, it is, like you said, it's more than soap. It is so much more than so. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm so excited. When exact, When was the date that you opened your store? Was it the day after Christmas? Uh, was it? Or no, was I, actually, I actually went live uh, Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. Okay, so it was, a, it was yeah. between that time period. Can you yeah. put, when you get back on the broadcast, I don't know if you've already updated your Periscope bio. But can you update that in the yeah. comments with your link so people can come to you and find you and order some amazing soap from you? Guys, I can attest to the quality of her soap. It's freaking awesome. I'm telling you. Well, thank you so much. But thank you yeah, for being caller number one. I will update. So well, anyway, you. I wanted to tell you happy um, New Year's in, uh, over the telephone, not just on a, a text. Paige, if you get away from that door, you know. And tell Paige congratulations on her rock star <laughs> scope because she was awesome. Oh, yeah. She thinks she owns, she runs the world. Who runs the world, Paige? And she changed her whole name during her broadcast. It was Paige DJ. <laughs> well, it was nice talking to you, Z. I'm going to let you go because I want to finish watching you make some soap. So. Thank, but you thank you so you for much for out. helping me test it. Okay, and thank you for being such an awesome instructor. That soap class is the bomb, I'm telling you. If nobody's done it, they need to because I would take it again. And, in fact, you know, I took the course twice. Yes. It was just going back and back because you just learn more and more every day. So thank you so much. You're welcome, and thank you so much. And uh, West Hill is saying throw, up some e throw some emojis on it when you get back in the broadcast. I will. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. Yo, I think that I absolutely positively love this right here. Yeah, she's making a huge mess, but I'm broadcasting, so I can't stop and do that. All right, let's see. If I switch back here, are we back? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going, all of you that are still here, we are up to 20 folks before I actually get started. Can you tell me your name and where you're from? And then we're going to go ahead and switch right over to making our Art Deco soap. And I will, um, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I just want you to know. There's Ms. Francis of Shirley's Creations.com, not Expedia, but Shirley's Creations.com. Um, there she is, just a walking down the street saying, Do I did. But no, seriously, before I switch you guys over so that you can actually see what we're doing, um, let me know who's here so I can properly welcome all of you because I've just been talking, 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 talking and haven't had a chance. Drea from Delaware. Hello, Dryer Buzz is here too. Um, Ohio, can't pronounce your name. It's Mim Mim, Mim Mim Yud One. Miss Brenda from Bermuda, another student, live soap school guys. Miss Brenda, also from Bermuda. Miss Francis, 
Thanks, Zakia. You're very, very, very welcome. Miss Francis is from um, Atlanta or in the Georgia area. And is there anybody else? Is there anybody else that's going to say who you are? No? All right. We can, we can, we can keep this thing going. So I'll switch it. Jersey. Did you say Dirty Jersey? What's up from Toronto? Christine. Hello, hello, hello. And you were from Ohio. Christine from Ohio. Ketchy from Ken Kentucky. Are you really from Kentucky? Charlottesville, Virginia. I know that's where you're from, Melvin. I've sent soap there. John from Illinois. Welcome to the broadcast. I said, welcome to the broadcast. I said, welcome. All right. So we're going to keep going because otherwise this will be a 16 hour broadcast. I'm going to get rid of this microphone, although it does sound better. I can't do as much of the switching because my, here's the thing. This is just a little tech tip for you. If you are looking for Baltimore, of course, for Duke, if you are looking for a device, I am using a MacBook Air, the newer generation. And the problem with that is you only get two USB ports. Didn't think about that. Didn't consider that. Everything, everything, everything that we use has a USB device. So the camera that I have you all on that allows us to go split screen like this is using one of those USB ports. My one-handed production studio uses another USB port. And then there's the microphone that uses a USB port. So if you were keeping count, one, two, three, wait, let me get in frame, three, that means I need three USB ports. So I had to order one of those extenders. So that's coming, which means I either have to give up the microphone, yes, a hub. Amazon has them, I just wasn't, that wasn't in the budget for this month. This was in the budget for this month. The microphone or the hub was not in the budget. And if I would have thought further or, or far enough forward, I would have selected a different laptop, knowing that I need the production quality of what I'm trying to get done. All right, so I'm going to switch you guys over the sound. And then this will also help me to see which sound comes across better. But and I can get rid of these headphones because I don't have that microphone plugged in anymore. All right. Boom. I know if you guys are watching on YouTube, you're like, what in the heck? YouTube too. Congrats. Dryer buzzed and shared me on YouTube. Guys. If you are not connected with me on YouTube, you got to get over there. You got to, got to, got to get over there on the YouTube side. I am Zakia Ringgold on YouTube. And, you know, I post videos there too. So here we have our heart. Let's go ahead and switch you guys so that you're looking directly at the soap right there. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to be using a strainer to make this design in the soap. Now I am louder. Now I am louder. Interesting. I thought I would have been quieter. And that was with that whole fancy microphone. So the idea with this is you pour the soap into the sink strainer. The interesting thing is everything that I'm using to make soap is used for baking. Where's my pastry queen at? This is a whole production. You see what I'm saying, West Hill? All right. So this here is um, a sink strainer. So whenever you have like dirty dishes, have you come out on the name of the store yet? I won't be announcing it until February the 1st as part of the whole moving forward. But yes, I do have a name and it's decided. I sound better on this mic. This is the built-in microphone on the laptop. Jewel, thank you for those super hearts on the Periscope side. So the idea is when you pour the soap in, that's actually going to give you a really, really intricate design. What I'll do is I will link to the YouTube inspiration video for this. A lot of artists are making soap this way now. And I figured since Valentine's Day is coming up, might as well put it in a heart. Put it in a heart, darn it. Put it in a heart. So we're going to be using several colors. We have our pink, which is this one here. We have our turquoise blue which is this one here. Yes, you learn to use your imagination to save money. Money, honey. Then we also have this purple here. This is a much thicker purple. 
I've actually added just a touch of glycerin in this to actually make it um, a little more vibrant. When you use glycerin with your colors, that actually helps it to pop a little bit more. And then we're also going to have some white as the base color to help that color to spread even more. So we have our tools there. We have our oils and our butters already melted. If you are wondering, well, what recipe are you using? Bam, here it is right here. It's in my book, the new soap makers cookbook ingredients for success. We are using recipe number 15. We're using recipe number 15 out of this book. I will link that in YouTube as well. All right. So what we are going to do is we're going to try and keep this steady. I'm going to try and also make the soap at a very, let's see, can I lift you? No, I'm going to have to move that here. Guys, we're trying to figure out these angles. We're trying to figure out these angles and it's a pain in the butt, but you know, we'll figure it out and it'll just get like fine wine. It gets better with time. You heard me. All right, let's move that there. Move that. I feel like that could probably. Okay, this is our fragrance. We're using a um, Honey I Wash the Kids fragrance for this one here. We also have our lye solution, which is right here. You guys remember Soap Lady. Shout out to Soap Lady for the amazing pictures that we got there. Then we also have our stick blender. Can't do nothing without a stick blender. So we're going to do this at a very, very light trace. Um, if you guys have been watching for a while, I've been blending pretty thick for a while. What's the strainer? This is just a regular sink strainer that you would use, but make sure it's plastic. Don't get the metal kind. If you get the metal kind, it could react with the lye that's in the soap. And so you really just want that because of the the way the slots are and the dots are. That's going to make the soap go out and, and, and the various colors go out in a... I'm trying to use my hand to shade what I'm trying to say. But you'll see it when we pour it. But if you're going to do it for soap making, it's just a regular soap strainer. All right, so now let's grab this. And this comes from a YouTube video, but it comes from artists. Soap makers don't do this, but artists do, um, painters. And what they're doing, something they're calling it mixed art deco. And what they're doing is they're taking their strainers and they're using that to get these very kind of cute I'll say just different designs without actually having to paint it but allowing jewel with those super hearts you are incredible thank you all right so let's get started because I've said let's get started 15 times I guess the 16th time is the time that we should actually do it let's go ahead and pour our lye in now you'll actually be able to see what are those temperatures right now we're at 102 degrees Fahrenheit I'm not sure if that comes across on screen. Actually 108, which is a little higher than I would like to do, but you know, it'll work itself out. some oil on the side that didn't make it into the bowl that didn't make it into the bowl it that's all I am going to do with this spatula I mean this stick blender I got my who's that with the Drea let me, let me give you a bonus point hold on let yes I have got my goggles on well let me stay focused <laughs> hey PH Flores how are you 
All right, so we now have our soap batter mixed. Now, if I wasn't trying to do colors and whatnot, I would probably mix that a little bit longer. But as you can see, it's already pretty runny. And the more that I mix it, the thicker it will become. And I still see some of our oils in there. So now that everything is mixed there, I'm going to go ahead, get that amazing scent in there that we know does not misbehave. Ooh, I'm learning. Yes, Drea. And imagine it's a lot of fun. It really is a lot of fun. And then you can really express your own creativity. And then, I mean, there is so much in terms of inspiration that's available so you don't necessarily have to depend on like any thing in particular. Like you can be inspired by looking up at the clouds or something. There's so much um, that's available just in nature for what you're doing. So we have that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get some colors. Because color is the most exciting part of the world. Welcome, made Ben. Don't know how to pronounce that. Welcome to the broadcast. So we're going to get some of these here. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and make this white. I'm going to make the base white. Because I accidentally, several times, loving this soap. Um, several times I have attempted to do a blue. And if you guys know anything about the color wheel, when you're doing blue, if you start with yellow and then you add blue... What happens? You end up with green, not blue. So by me making this base white initially, I have a much better shot at getting the color of the soap that I'm after. If I try and pour that in there with the base of that soap being yellow, nine times out of ten, that's going green. There you go, Drea. You got it. So we just dyed it white. And now, hopefully, this will help every one of the colors to pop even more. You guys know I would be talking to Alexa right now, but because we are multi-streaming, can do it. So you guys got to listen to me or listen to this soap swirl. This is when I say, Alexa, play nothing. Play nothing at all. And as they say, I don't get it. It smells so good. All right. Now, what I noticed when they were, um, Eco Afen, thank you so much for those super hearts and welcome to the broadcast. What I noticed was they would pour their paint on when it was a very, very thin consistency. So I'm going to try and achieve that same thin consistency with this soap. I'm going to try. You know, soap likes to do whatever it wants, whenever it wants. So sometimes we don't get that luxury. But not this time. Well, maybe this time we will. <laughs> Who knows? All right, they all look about even. Go with our turquoise. That still look green to me. That still looks green to me. But I like the color, so I'm not complaining. Okay. Now we'll go with this really bright neon pink. Well, it's kind of bright. It 
And finally, we will go with the purple. You might need to add a little more purple, but we'll see. And I like it because it has some of those, um, the granules from the mica in there. But once I use the stick blender, it's going to disappear. But I like to see that. It's like little speckles. Can you guys see that? It looks like, I don't know. But I like the way that looks. Actually, no, because I can't do that. All right, I'm going to hit that with the stick blender. Hit it one time. All right. I need that to be a little more purple. That looks a little too muted. It's not going to give the effect that I want. So what I need to do is add just a little more purple to that. Give me one second. Let me grab some purple. Where is my purple? There she is. There she is. Really pretty. Look, when I add, when I put that spoon in there just now, so you can kind of get an idea of what those um, colors are going to look like in the soup, because that has all three of the colors kind of mixed there. Not sure if I was actually on film doing that, but hopefully you saw it. Okay, so for any of you that are just coming in, I just see that the number jumped up for a moment. So I'm Zakia of NaturalSoapByZakia.com. If you have not already, be sure to share the broadcast out with your favorite Periscope peeps, Facebook friends, YouTube friends, Twitter tweets, wherever. And make sure that you're also tapping the screen. And if you're not already, be certain that you are following me so that you don't miss when we go live the next time what you are watching is me attempting to do a youtube pour that's what i'm going to call it it's um it's a new or not new but new to me this is honey i wash the kids and so um it's new to me this technique but not necessarily the way that i'm going to do it it has been done um in the art realm and so I'm attempting to do that same thing with soaping. And that is using a sink strainer to pour this soap and get the design that I want. Now, the thing that I recognize is that when they would pour it, they had to try and stay as steady as possible. Um, that's a great question in terms of wanting the colors darker. There is a space of no return where it's not that it would ruin anything, but see how my purple has gotten too thick. I, I'm not going to be able to use that for this pour. Shoot. The purple is too thick, so I got to just move on without it. 
Um, you don't want it in soap making. You don't want that dye by adding too much to cause problems with um, dyeing someone's wash rags in the bathroom. So what you would do is you would have to get colors that are vibrant to begin with. That's the best that you would be able to do for that. Some colors just are not very well pigmented to start with. And I think this is going to come out beautifully. It's kind of, I can see it. You guys can't, which is funny. Well, not funny. It's like we're watching you do this, but you'll start to see it peeking out around the sides in a second. It's kind of like a hippie's design that I'm seeing, like a tie-dye. One more for the white. Could you dye this also dye your skin it's too much? Um, if it's a cosmetic color, it's not going to dye your skin, but it will dye your washcloths if you use too much. That's why we always tell people don't use food coloring in your bath products because it's going to dye your sinks and you don't want that or your porcelain in your bathroom. Always use cos cosmetic grade coloring in your products. I really wish that purple would have been in here. It just would have added just another element to this. Okay, are the purple and pink the same brand? All of them were the same brand. All right. I don't want to waste this soap, so let's keep going. Oh, that was too much. And the reason the purple did what it did, notice I did not use the stick blender with the other colors. I only used that stick blender when I did the purple. So the purple got thicker. Remember, what we're watching is saponification. And because this is saponifying, it wants to thicken up. And the more that we have that um, constant interaction, that constant friction going on, it's going to force that to happen. So here is what we've got. I do like the way that came out. Um, and I'm also going to do a little one because I don't want to waste this soap. Can you guys see that? How do you clean all the bowls and spatulas? Well, the good news is this is soap. Do you guys understand that? <laughs> The best part of what I do is what I am using is soap. So typically, I would not leave this much in the bowls. But because I don't want it to mess up the design, um, I can actually flip you guys over. So this is bomb, guys. This is a really cool design. Um, let me see if we grab. We got to grab this just to see what would happen. It's like Zakia, leave it alone. Leave it alone. Can you push the purple through with the spatula? It's too thick. So it's not going to work the way it's supposed to, even if I pushed it and forced it. Now that kind of looks like Charlotte's Web. There's nothing I can do in that centerpiece. It's all green, so we're going to fake it. We're going to fake it. Like it had some of that pink.
I love you, Lord. All right, I'm going to leave it alone because you know what I'll do. I will ruin the heck out of this thing. We knew it, cancer. <laughs> All right, guys. So, number one, did this flip? I don't know. Did it flip? Because sometimes, boom. Here we go. So, I'm Zakia of NaturalSoapbySakia.com, and what you were watching me make is um, something that I was inspired by on YouTube. There are several um, artisans on, or anything that you want to learn how to do, you can probably get almost a PhD on YouTube, especially when it comes to crafty, creative things. So there are a lot of artists out there now that are doing this technique, which is called the sink strainer pour. And what they're doing is they're using the sink strainer. I have no idea where my strainer went. But they're using the sink strainer to actually pour their paint onto a canvas. And then what they do is they rock it back and forth. And then that becomes a drawing. Update it like you asked. Thank you so very much. You're very welcome. Um, so it they rock it back and forth. And then that allows you to um, actually cover an entire canvas. Now, Nyla actually has some canvases upstairs. We also have some acrylic paint. So I'm going to have her do the same thing just with paint instead of soap. But this is actually done with soap. Let me bring it up here so you guys can see it. This is actually handmade soap that you're looking at. And so this is actually something that you could use on your skin um, to bathe with. And it's also very artistic. Um, so it, 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 it's very soothing for all of the senses. It feels like that's just not where it's supposed to be. I will, I'll have to put like some X's like they do on a set. Um, so I know exactly where to put something so it's in frame. That kind of feels like it's off to the right or whatever. Um, and so that is what we poured. We did our sink strainer pour. And if any of you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to reach out to me. You can also get every single thing that you have seen me making at Natural Soap by Zakia. But I don't have to tell you, I'm going to roll that beautiful bean footage. I'll talk to you all later. Thank you so much for joining today's live broadcast. And we're going to go ahead and roll that beautiful bean footage, also known as the credits. Do you absolutely positively love products by Soap Lady Z? That could be our soap. That could be our books. That could be our classes. That could just be our gratitude and our show. Make sure you sign up for our ambassador program today and you earn money for your referrals to Soap Nation. How cool is that? Now, you may also be wondering, how can you easily support Soap Lady Z? Like the videos. Were you watching? Did you tap the screen? Did you send an emoji? Did you put a thumbs up? That is supporting the broadcast. You can share it with your friends on social media. Make sure you're following my channel on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, anywhere in the social media land that you are actually hearing the sound of my voice. Make sure you have clicked that follow button and make sure you also subscribe to my email list so that you can stay connected. And most importantly, thumbs do matter. Rate and review wherever you are. If there's an option to put a comment, put a comment in there. Now, did you see something that you've just got to have it? Did I make something live that you're like, oh, yes, I'm getting it. I need it for my skin. I need to learn. Any of those things, naturalsoapbyzakia.com is where you can go to get all of my handmade products. These make excellent gifts for friends, family, and co-workers. Some of my absolute best-selling products are the Triple Butter Blend, the Activated Charcoal and Kale and Clay, as well as the Peppermint Soap. If you are looking for a gift that actually keeps on giving, subscribe to my Soap of the Month Club, and you actually get that treats delivered to your door each and every month. Head over to naturalsoapbyzakia.com place your order today not tomorrow not a little bit later do it now it's handmade guys it doesn't last forever when it's going it's going it's time to get again get your order in today now do you actually want to make your own handmade soap from scratch who wouldn't who wouldn't it's so calming it's so soothing and you actually control all of the ingredients 
check out the new Soap Makers Cookbook series available both in paperback and ebook format exclusively on Amazon.com. Ooh, yeah. Head to bit.ly forward slash soap books and you can see my author page as well as all of the books and the reviews and order your copy today but if you're like a lot of people you actually want to sit and take a class because you want to learn and know that you know that you know that you know you can actually take a soap making class with soap lady z live or online visit livesoapschool.com forward slash classes for more information what's available as well as the schedule head over there today if you would like to learn how to make your own soap from scratch thanks again for tuning in live or even on the replay you guys are awesome too bubbles and hugs and most importantly don't forget to subscribe like comment and share